Um, hi, I'm Sarah. How well do you lie, Sarah? Pardon me? How well do you lie? Um, I, I try not to. I want you to convince me that this is an apple. It's an orange. <laughs> I know that, but I want to believe that it's an apple. See, when I was a kid in high school, it was easy to believe in love. Oh yeah, easy. A pretty smile, a tight halter top, and I was there, you know what I mean? Everything about my first love was perfect and it was gonna last forever. A week later, she broke my heart. But that's all right, I was young. I went to college and it was a little harder the next time, but it happened. She said all the right things and it was moons, junes, and Ferris wheels. And then I got to know her a little better and she turned out to be a little bit psycho and put me a little bit in the hospital when she ran me over with her Volvo. But hey, plenty more fish in the sea, right? Um, right. Right. So, I eventually found someone else, and although I was older and wiser and warier, I got sweet-talked again and got convinced that it could all work out fine, and it didn't. And I'm still paying alimony on that one. And the one after. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. So, the more and more I get lied to, the harder and harder it is for me to find someone, because I need a woman who can lie to me better than all the ones who came before. That ain't easy. I need a woman who's a spectacular liar for me to believe that love might exist. But it does exist. See, I've given up on that. Now, I'm just hoping to be fooled just once more, even for just a little while. But love, it does exist. And I'm the woman who can make you believe it. One kiss from me would be like your first kiss and, and starlight and Levi's jeans and Johnny Mathis songs and laughter and Star Wars and sunlight backlighting my dress so you could see that I'm not wearing anything underneath. And I would make love to you and I would care for you and I would always be faithful to you and you would believe every love song ever written and every silly note ever passed in English class and the world would be bright and shiny and full of all the hope and promise you felt when you were 12 years old. But you know what? I'm not gonna do any of that because you've become jaded and cynical and you're never gonna have me because I don't want you.